joined this week again by uh, Groovy and Kevin. How's it going, guys? Great. It's pretty well. Awesome. So I think we're live. Uh, I think people are suddenly starting to come in. There we go. I can see a lot of people joining the stream now, which is great. So welcome if you're new. Say hello in chat. Uh, super chats will, will get your message read out uh, for super chats. We'll try and also read the chats. Uh, how, how's it going, foe? Welcome to the live stream. Roblox Academy, uh, Galaxy Secrets, Abdul, Magic Man's Fresh Apples. Welcome, everyone. So we are going to just jump straight in because time is against us. Uh, we have actually started working on the Uno game. I'm going to show you uh, the Uno game right now. We have made some good progress so far. But we've kind of done the boring stuff so far. You know, I didn't really want to start off with just a, ba a blank base plate and because it would take ages to build the whole scene um, to just do the really basic stuff that you wouldn't really see much end product I just want to get straight into it so we've done a little bit of work already I'm going to show you what we've done so I'm just going to head into play solo here Kevin has built a wonderful uh, Uno game uh, like a tunnel and a, and a game area uh, so what happens is the camera starts off here all of the competitors, all the players, will walk through this little tunnel uh, and then they will seat themselves around the table. We've got an Uno card in the middle. We've got the Uno cards designed. It will give you five random Uno cards. You can hover over them and click one and you can place the card down. Now, right now, we've basically done the turn system. So once you take your turn, the next person will have their turn. You can see on the left, it's counting down. Uh, but what we haven't done is we haven't coded the cards so if i was to place down you know what well, we've got a green place down at the moment and that in in uno you wouldn't be able to place down any blue cards right you'd, you'd have to place down a card of the same color or of the same uh, number but at the minute we haven't coded that so you could place down a blue if you wanted to or if you place down a uno reverse card uh, nothing would happen so that's what we're going to do we're going to make that work and then we can delve into things such as um all sorts we could do. There's so many things we could do, um, but we just want to get a bare, bare bones gameplay uh, in here, so we can actually come out of the stream with uh, an Uno game that we can play and, and that's functional. So I'll just show you the uh, the the maps and everything that we've had built. So Kevin built this um, before the stream. It looks really nice. We've got a winners area as well. So well done, Kevin. And as well, he is going to be working on this uh, lobby area where the players will just um, stand when they're, when they're waiting to get into a match. So that's what we're going to be doing. Drop a like on the stream if you are excited then. Uh, let me know if you think we're going to... Let me know if you think we're going to be able to do this in time by the end of the stream. Because it's going to be interesting to see if we can do this or not. Um, I actually think we will. I think we will. Um, but uh, you're going to join us along the way. And hopefully you will stay with us and watch us for the entire stream so welcome everyone really appreciate everyone watching and as well drop a like smash a like if you're excited let's get straight into it then all right so like i said we're going to code the cards here is the code so far it's a little bit messy um i did it quite quickly before the stream just to get something that works i'm going to just run through it quickly we've got a um remote events here which is when you click a card and then it will just check if it's currently your turn and if it is then it will update this card basically a surface GUI with a image label and it will change the image to the card that you go and place down we're using sprite sheets instead of individual card image labels because that is just quicker and it will save memory if you don't know what a sprite sheet is it's basically one big image with loads of smaller images on it and then you can just um, change the size and position of that image uh, to show a specific card. So this image here is actually uh, an image with like 40 cards on it, but it's just zoomed in to show a specific card. Okay, and that's what sprite sheets do. It uses image rect offset. Uh, and then what we do here is we just have two values uh, in replicated storage called current card, previous card, and that just logs card just placed down and the one before it that's going to be useful for things such as um, if you put down a plus two and then the next person puts down a plus two tracking that for example uh, and I've missed a super chat I'm very sorry about that shout out 
Jake Vids. Thank you for your 79p uh, super chat contribution. Really appreciate that, Jake. And as well, how you doing? You and Erd, welcome to the stream. Uh, and then we have this turn taken value, so you can't spam uh, the cards and place down more than one card. And we check that here, so you can only place down one card at a time. Uh, we then have a. Duh, 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 duh. We'll just get rid of this for now. This dummy walk on is what uh, makes the characters walk on at the start. Now, this is the start game function. This is basically a round script. We'll wait for two players to be in the game. Then we'll do the walk on so the characters walk out. Uh, and then we do the start game. When we do the start game, we just take all of the players currently in the game. We give them an order of turns. So we put them in a table. And then you'll have um, players in an ordered list. So you know who goes first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, and then what we'll do is we put them in the chairs. We set the index to one. So that whoever's first in the table will, will, will come first. And then we'll just loop through. And basically, we'll go to the first person in the table. Let them have their turn. Uh, you can see here, this is just dealing on the cards. Then down here, we have a repeat loop. So we repeat, we call this function called turn. And this highlighted is the player. Uh, so order of turns index will return the current player whose turn it is. And then what we do here in this turn function is we set the current uh, player taking turn value to, the, to that player. And we wait 20 seconds to allow them to take their turn. So this is what we've done so far, basically. We've got a bit of client coding as well. This just to set the camera to um, when they walk on and also to when they are sat in their chair. This function, when we give them a card, uh, we fire a remote event called draw, and then it will add the card to their GUI, depending on the name. And then here is the sprite sheet. So each card has its own um, position. So basically, on the on the sprite sheet it's just a huge uh, grid of different uh, cards and we have kind of like an x and y grid system so you know you could have your sprite sheet here and you know you could have a, a card here a card here a card here but you assign them grid values so one two three four and if you want to get a specific card you just go two two and you get this one here so that's what this is doing it's basically just a huge grid uh, and then, what else we got? We got uh, this increment. So this is the size and pixels for each card. We just multiply these values here by 7614. That is what um, the sprite sheet is. I'm not going to go into full detail about it, but it just makes the cards come up um, and it saves memory and makes it uh, quicker to do that. We just have some nifty functions as well to pick a random card from that list for when we draw a card and to get the screen position, um, the vector 2, UDIM 2, whatever. Right, that was a bit of a mouthful. So I've just walked through the code. Um, hopefully that makes it a bit clearer for, for you guys if you're watching and you're getting a bit confused. But if I hadn't have done that, if I hadn't have started before the stream, we wouldn't have been able to get it done in time. So there you go. Shout out to OJ. Thanks for keeping everything good in the chat. Uh, mate, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Artem, Riley, how's it going, guys? We've got a Uno reverse card, I think. We've got an emoji for that, haven't we? I don't know. No, we don't. Man, maybe we should get a, an Uno reverse card emoji in there for our members. All right. So, uh, Kevin, let me see if you are... Are you sharing your screen? Yes, uh, you are. Yeah, you are, be. you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. So, awesome. Kevin's here in the, in the bottom left uh, of the screen, if you want to watch what he's doing. And, right, here we go. Your friendly bacon, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. So, yeah, like I said, whenever you take your turn, we don't check the car that you put down. So... Right now, let's just make sure that you can... Uh, let, let's do the coding so that if you place down a card, let's make sure that you can actually place that. So, for example, if you place down a red card, but the current colour is yellow, let's actually do that. Let's check that. So, I'm going to have a value here in replicated storage. Uh, let me just tweet out, actually, to tell people that I am alive. Yeah, we're going to create a string value, and we can just update that every time we place a card to um, to the colour of that card. Uh, 
There we go. Tweeted that out. And again, if you are new and you've just joined, and if you haven't already liked, please click the like button. I really would appreciate that. 600 likes already, which is uh, awesome. And, and share the stream as well. Um, let's get the stream out to as many people as we can. And uh, if you do that, I'll keep streaming. I'll keep the stream going. So thanks everyone that's liking, sharing. Really appreciate that. Right. So when you place down a card here, we want to get the current colour. So how are we going to get the colour of the card? Let's see. Mm, card name. Let's think. So we could do... Um, we could check to find the colour of the card. How are you doing, says Sprox? I'm doing very well. I hope you're doing uh, good as well. I'm just going to check. Check something on the forums whilst I do that. I'm going to switch over to Kevin. See if you can see what you're working on. There you go. We're going to do a bit of string manipulation. Vincent Chambers says, Hi Alvin Blocks, next stream can you show us how to make a GTA 5 game? And um, can, I can basically say that he probably won't do that because that's a lot of work. It's like making jailbreak. It is. It's very, um, very hard. Uh, Pepe Memo Eleven, thank you for the super chats. Says Alvin, can you make that? Can you make it so that iPad users can become members? So if you're on a mobile or iPad, uh, and if you don't see the uh, member button. Then you can go to, uh, I think there's a link in the description. I think there's a link in the description. Uh, it says join membership for exclusive perks. If you just click that, it will take you to your web browser and you can become a member. Uh, although if you are watching on mobile or, um, or on desktop, you should be able to click on the little dollar sign uh, underneath the chat box and you can send in a super chat or a super sticker. Your message will get read out and it will be at the top of the chat uh, for a period of time. Or you can become a member as well. A join button next to the subscribe button. And uh, you can get some cool exclusive perks. Alright, so I see someone, uh, who is that? That was uh, Shin, who's asking what plugin I use to make circles. Um, I use a plugin called Archimedes 2. Um, it is, let me find it, it's right here. Uh, it's a plugin that allows you to make circles or, um, you know, anything else if you want, like some a circle with sharp edges, um, like a hexagon, stuff like that. Um, so basically what it does um, is this right here. So you can put how many degrees you want it to turn. So in this case, I'm going to use 45 degrees and um, you can click right here and it's going to render a circle, which is pretty cool, really useful um for building and stuff so there you go i can try to spell it out in the chat yeah that's a really useful plugin you used it last week as well didn't you I've, i'm quite impressed by it I'd yeah it's, that it's really useful all right All right, let's see. Uh, yes, James Hacks says you can close functions. Yeah, if you don't need to work on a function right now, you can actually close it by just pressing these little arrows here. It's very useful to uh, speed up your... Uh, well, not speed up, but just make your script look a little bit more organized and, and clean. Okay, let me just try this. Here. So don't worry guys, you're not missing anything from my stream, so I'm just checking something on the dev forum right now.
All right, so uh, there's a few people who's kind of confused as to which one it is. So I'm going to go ahead and find it on Roblox. I have it. I'll post the link. Okay, there we go. There's Archimedes too. Awesome. So I think this is the best way to do it. So I need to find out the color of each card um, that gets placed down. But the problem that I'm having is that each card is just named like red zero, red one, red two, red block, red reverse. So they're all unique. Um, so you can't just say if card is yellow because it could be yellow four, yellow five or green eight. So if you just said if yellow four is yellow, it would say no because yellow is not equal to yellow four. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a function called get card color. And I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it. It's probably a better method. Um, it's, I kind of, I, I don't think I've set this up in the best way uh, in terms of um, having properties of each card, which I should have done really. Uh, welcome new member, Pepe Memo 11. Thanks for joining premium membership. Uh, appreciate it, mate. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to use string.find. So we're just going to have a card name. We're going to say if string.find card name. And if you have any better ideas, let me know. Um, we can always go back to this and, and, and find a better solution. But for now, we're going to do it this way. Uh, if string.find card name blue then we know that this is a blue card else if string dot find card name uh, thanks for the super chat james i really do appreciate that uh, i'll check it in a minute uh, if it's green then it's gonna be a green one whoops else if string dot find card name red then it's a red card Else if string dot find card name yellow then yellow. So this is just going to return blue. This is going to return green. This is going to return red. And what's the song name? The song is called Um it's called uh, Matter F A K A by Martin Divine on Pretzel. Return yellow. Okay. Mr. Misha says, I'll be watching this later on and I'll just see my comments randomly. Cool. Uh, and yes, Link says, Will this be live later? This will be live later indeed, so you'll be able to check it out later on. But uh, right now, this will not be a uh, project for members. I'm actually going to try and release this game and see how that does. It's going to be cool uh, if we can release it. I see that some people ask how you get the arrows for the indentations in a script. And I think that's still a beta feature, but you can get it by going to file and clicking beta features. And you can enable new Lua script analysis. So yeah, a lot of people that. are asking about that. I've had it for a while, so I just thought it was a new feature, but I must have turned it on. Maybe they disabled it. So now we can say get card color, card name. Um, James Hack says didn't get a response. Um, no, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> So now, if we say get card color, and we say something like blue six in the command bar here. Uh, oh, let's just print out the result. Our nifty little function tells us the uh, value of the card. So returning, uh, in this case, well, I need to find out the color of the card. So I'm calling this function. This function is going to do the work. It's going to return 
either blue, green, red, or yellow. So this variable color is going to be is, is going to be either going to be blue, green, red, or yellow. So if I was to then print out color, it would print out blue, green, red, yellow. So this function and returning the color just allows me to find out the color of the card really quickly. So I can then say um, current card color equals dot dot value equals color. Pardon me. I'll just change this current card color. And then I say up here, create a variable for it. Replicate storage, wait for child, current card color. So how's everyone's uh, day been? What's everyone been doing? Let me know in the chat. Um, I'll read a couple out. Let us know where you're watching from as well. Uh, it'd be nice to see where everyone's watching from in the world. Whether it's uh, morning, afternoon, evening, night for you, wherever you are, you're all welcome on this channel. So uh, drop a like. We've got 730 likes already, which is insane. Uh, so if we, if we could get to, oh, if we get to 800 by um, 10 minutes time, and then way over a thousand by the end of the stream, that would be awesome. So drop a like, share the stream. I can see the concurrent viewers are rising. It'd be great if we could beat uh, last week's view account of around uh, 600. I'm not sure whether we'll do that, but. Keep sharing, keep liking, really do appreciate it, guys. Um, the, the, the concurrent viewers do seem to be down today, so I really appreciate if you could help me reach our goal. Thank you, everybody. All right, the chat's going very fast. We've got Scripted Dev in the Netherlands. We've got Alexander in Denmark. We've got James in the UK, Michigan for Brody. Uh, we've got FC Gaming in Zimbabwe, where it's the night. Wow, Zimbabwe, um, Germany, England, where else we got, Kansas, awesome, Canada, Rochester, Ireland, Sweden, Miami, Chile, Kuwait, Afghanistan, Miami, Morocco, Japan, Jamaica, Grenada in the Caribbean, and it's 12.52, wow, alright, Japan, Chile, Cool. Welcome everyone. As I said, you're all welcome on, on here. Uh, and Norway as well. Um, that's obviously you, Groovy. You got any other Norwegians in the chat? I haven't seen any. We had a lot last week. I haven't seen any others yeah. today, though. Um, are all my people. <laughs> he needs to stand together. Okay. So, let's do previous card colour as well. I think that would be a good thing to track. There is one person, yes! <laughs> and we're going to just duplicate this value and call it previous card colour. Uh, lazy additions in Norway as well. Uh, super hashed in Pakistan. Wow. Great to have everyone here. So, what we'll do is we'll just say um, previous card color dot value goes color uh, else previous card color equals uh, yeah equals current card color dot value and and then we'll say current card color equals uh, oh dot value dot value equals color. 